The Department of Justice has indicted five more people from the Tampa Bay area for assaulting law enforcement officers during the riot in Washington. Justin Shecker joining us live outside the federal courthouse in Tampa tonight. Uh, Justin, one of the suspects here from Lakeland is still on the run. That's right, Keith. Good evening to you. Last week, three of the defendants named in this indictment faced a federal judge here in Tampa. Well, today we've learned one of their brothers has yet to be arrested. Jonathan Pollock of Lakeland is wanted for several charges. The most serious are two counts of assault with a dangerous weapon. 21-year-old Jonathan Pollock of Lakeland remains at large, according to the Department of Justice. But on January 6th, prosecutors say he was part of a group of five from Tampa Bay that attacked police officers defending the U.S. Capitol from the mob of former President Trump supporters. Why were you in D.C. on January 6th, ma'am? Pollock's sister Olivia and their cousin Joshua Doolin had no comments for eight on your side, leaving federal court in Tampa on June 30th. The Pollock siblings... Doolin, Joseph Hutchinson, and Michael Perkins are all named in this 19-count indictment. A lot of the evidence included in the FBI criminal complaints are images from officers' body-worn cameras. Prosecutors say Pollock charged at police with a flagpole, dragged two officers down a set of stairs, and thrust a stolen police shield into an officer's throat. His sister is accused of elbowing an officer and trying to strip batons out of officers' hands. 37-year-old Perkins is still in jail because prosecutors say he's too dangerous to be released. According to the complaint, Perkins rammed a flagpole into the chest of an officer before appearing to strike an officer in the back of his head. The document says 25-year-old Hutchinson works in the Pollock family gun shop in Lakeland. He was arrested last week in Albany, Georgia. Prosecutors say Hutchinson kicked officers trying to keep rioters out of the Capitol. Doolin is the only one not accused of violence against officers, but he was spotted near the Capitol with zip tie handcuffs tucked in his belt and a canister of chemical irritants that police use in riot situations. And today in D.C., Doolin, Hutchinson, and Olivia Pollock all pleaded not guilty. Uh, next week, a judge will decide if Perkins, that Plant City man accused of beating the cop with a flagpole, will remain in jail. Florida continues to lead the nation with nearly 60 January 6th Capitol riot and insurrection cases. We are live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.